My name is Albert. Before I joined church, I was actually a very strong Thai Buddhist. So I will annually go over to Thailand for this uh, pilgrimage, so-called pilgrimage, and very into worshipping and all that. But my wife uh, actually prayed for me for three years. And then when I respond to Christ, that was a turning point altogether. Uh, my name is Carol. Uh, I've been in church for 10 years. I actually am a backslider for almost 20 years um, when I was uh, pregnant with her. And then I started to, and, and my elder one was about two years old. And then I <laughs> started to think that it's not easy being a parent. And so somebody, then I felt that I need to maybe go back to God. Lah. I was raised in a Christian home, but I backslided when I turned 13, when I was a teenager, <gasps> her age. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, so my cousin-in-law actually brought me to City Harvest saying that City Harvest has got a very good children's program. Um, so I came to check it out. It was very near our home in Jurong West. And so when we came, the first time when we came to church and entered the children's church, uh, I was very touched because everything is so high-tech, you know, and uh, so organized. And then after that, I, I settled in, in City Harvest. And uh, yeah, then after that, I went to SOT. Coming to Christ, coming to church, really opened up and freed me up. And it was miracle after miracle that I feel uh, the blessing of God, the hands of God on, on me every day. I think I had the privilege of um, having the experience of being in the nursery ministry when I had her, when she was a baby, and, and then going through all the different phases of her in children's church. And I'm always very amazed at all the ministry workers in both the nursery and children's church. They are always so dedicated. Um, they work so hard. I really believe that this is one of the best children's program around. Yeah, and uh, so much so that sometimes I, I tend to think that, wow, you know, I don't have to do very much at home. But I, I remember that, you know, as parents, God has given us these souls in our homes for a purpose and it's for us to train them up the way that He wants them to go. And we, we do have um, responsibilities as parents. Yeah, so we recently we decided to do a mother and daughter thing. I think as, as she enters teenage years, I felt that it's important for us to continue the bond. And so part of the things that we do, we have done a series of things this year. We actually learn blading together and then we go cycling together. And lately we started to learn guitar together. Uh, it's, it's so fun to be able to learn together and practice at home together. Yeah, and, and she learns much faster than me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and we had the privilege of learning uh, under Brother Po. And that's really part of the beauty of being in City Harvest. Um, and being in church for the past 10 years really has helped us to find the gifts and talents that God has given to the girls. And even for ourselves, yeah, and it's so amazing that, you know, um, as we give to our rise and build every single year since we come to church, God really has prospered our family. La. This year, both of us have been promoted. Yeah, praise God. And we went to Presence Conference mm. in yeah. Perth. Yeah, <laughs> as a family. Yeah, pulling them out of school for four days. No school. Woo. Yeah. yeah, But it was um, such a wonderful experience as a family. And we felt that as part of her transiting into her teenage years, um, for us to prepare ourselves, I think not just academically for PSLE, but for us to really gel together as a family and to seek really His presence um, as a family. And it was through the uh, Presence Conference that uh, they attended their own program, children's program on their own. She attended the children's program and she attended the youth program on her own. And then that was when I felt that, wow, maybe she's ready for a youth cell group. So immediately after we came back, um, Pastor Ming connected us with her cell group and it is a wonderful cell group for her. They can be very easy to relate to and uh, I made a lot of new friends. It was a three-day camp and uh, they had us uh, praise and worship every morning and then uh, we have games. Yeah. That was the first time you fell under the power. Yeah. She prayed for... And you prayed for other people, right? Yeah. I was there to actually pick her up, but I actually saw it, it overran. So I saw how they pray for each other and how they all fall under the power. And then they get out and pray for other people again. And the, God's presence was really so strong at the camp. And it, it was amazing for me to see how God is working in, amongst the youth in church. And so I, as she transits to the teenage years, I feel very assured like, that she's in, really in His good hands. But in terms of balancing their lives, I think it rests very much on parents. Uh, it's also for us to 
see and pray about you know what is the best way that we can bring them up. This year is a particular significant year because well, two years back I was involved in an incident. Um, during the course of work itself, one worker fell, um, fell down and eventually he couldn't come to and pass away. Through the course of investigation, the very intensive one was the one month that immediately after the case. Then after was a strenuous exercise of doing filing for reports to report back to authority. It was seemed so bleak and dark during that period. And it happens to be a Friday night, all night prayer meeting. And the earlier session were all led by Pastor Tan. And I want to thank Pastor Tan that because of his dedication to his work, because he put this program of all Friday, Friday night prayer meeting that I dragged myself all the way to John, pray, be immersed in the worshipping, be immersed in his work that through that, I was able to come to and uh, strengthen myself and face this big task of clearing all the charges. So eventually, as I was also serving in photo ministry in church, one day, Pastor Kong had this message and I was shooting right in front of Pastor and Pastor said, look, I'm not a prisoner, I'm not a crook, I didn't break any law. So if I'm not breaking any law, I would stand all tests of time and all the tests of the system and the judges. So I was very strengthened at that moment and uh, I told myself, that is the message I will bring through to my workplace. And because of that, I was able to lead the team out of the um, stop work, gain the momentum, lead them through because the morale was very, very low, and then try to boost the team to get everything back to system. And eventually, I got the project back on track, I handed over, and my company was very elated because no charges were brought against me in the personal appointment as well as the company level. So on all count, we did all things above par. So it was because of Pastor Tan teaching, because of what Pastor Kong is going through, that he showed us that we can break through to a higher level. really a time for, for us to be reminded that this is the place, you know, after being in church for 10 years and having grown so much spiritually, individually, every one of us here have grown and encountered God in different ways. So this Arise and Build really is an opportunity for us to be reminded now that we need to honour God just as He has honoured us. He has given us, both of us, promotion uh, this year. He has, you know, blessed Nicole with a good cell group and uh, and you know really brought her through PSLE and uh, many other things. The Aras and Book is really um, you give to the church so that they'll be able to use it to get more equipment. Like because we already have Suntec and we want to have a better place so that other people can come to church and get to know God here and not just like in a very small space where there's not enough space for people to come. We also want to give our best because through God's blessing, this year was a breakthrough year for us. Mm. With so many blessings, we are able to extra to bring the girls to Presence Conference. Mm. So for us, is especially with the great encounter during our trip there, it was a very fulfilling session that we want to give back. Mm. One is to thank God for all that He has blessed us. Two is to continue that as we tie, as we continue in our rise and build, we will also um, be blessed in return.